so if i go through jdk 6 or 7 versions then i can connect with type 1 driver but from type 8 onwards i mean uh, jdk 8 onwards we don't have type 1 support okay type 1 they removed from jdk 8 onwards 1.8 okay so here i am getting connection this is the first approach right then if you want to get the same connection using driver manager dot registered okay instead of using this first statement instead of using class dot for name without having class dot for name also you can connect by default your jvm will load this sun dot jdbc dot odbc dot jdbc odbc driver okay without loading this driver also you can get this connection okay so don't load any driver here by default it will load your type 1 driver then it will connect with your database in case of type 1 driver only it is possible by default your jvm will load this type 1 driver okay or else we have one more approach you can create driver reference here driver d equal to new jdbc odbc driver then by calling driver manager dot register driver you can pass the driver reference here so using this statement also you can load your driver here so this one is the second approach now run this okay still it is connecting with your database and we have third approach that one is by giving command system command we know right that command is java space hyphen d jdbc driver jdbc dot driver equal to the driver name space class name we tried that right yeah through command prompt we can do that okay anyways once after getting connection what we can do here we can create a statement the steps what we have to follow to execute jdbc i mean to connect with your database to connect from java application to database and to execute your statements on database how many steps we have to follow here first one load driver we know how to load this and the second one get connection we know how to get the connection the next create statement create statement how many types of statements we have to create statements we have statement here we have a statement and we have a prepare statement and we have a callable statement these three types of statements we have here how to create that statements once after getting connection using connection dot create statement method we can create a statement object so here i'll show you that statement test okay first thing by using statement driver is the parent class for this jdbc odbc driver so in java we can do this right parent reference equal to child object all the driver implementations are from driver interface only right we have one driver interface given by sun we know right driver interface given by sun this is interface and given by sun for this interface sun given one implementation sun given one implementation that class name is jdbc odbc driver class okay so parent reference equal to child object you can create now statement test create a java project statement test yeah first thing what we should do we need to load the driver then we need to get the connection then after we can create the statement so statement test create a class statement test write a main method class dot for name once again load your driver class dot for name sun dot jdbc dot odbc dot 
JDBC, ODBC driver. The next get connection driver manager dot get connection then same URL same username password so just copy it from here and right here throws class not found exception comma SQL exceptions okay once after getting connection create statement first step load second step get connection third step create statement how to create connection dot call create statement method create statement will provide as one statement object okay in this way you can create statement once after creation of our statement once after creation of our statements execute SQL queries execute your SQL queries by using that statements you can execute your SQL queries once after execution of your SQL queries what you need to do yeah based on that statement if statement is if statement is DDL if statement is DDL no result if statement is DML it will give us result how many rows affected how many rows affected using your query if the query is if your statement is DRL then you can expect result set okay if your statement is DDL no result if your statement is DML you can expect how many rows affected by your query if your statement is DRL then you can expect result set so there are three types of statements here there are three types of methods in your statement in case if you go through statement dot execute method here you can pass DDL here you can pass DDL DDL will return what the return type of DDL is the return type of execute is boolean that statement DDL statement executed or not it will return and if you want to execute any DML you can go through execute update method here you can pass your required DML queries finally it will return what how many rows affected number of rows affected using your query and we have one more method statement dot execute query method here you can pass DRL queries it will return as result set ok there are three types of methods for DDL execute and for DML execute update and for DRL execute query methods ok so if your statement is DDL statement DDL means data definition language DRL data retrieval data retrieval language ok so then here yeah first I'll go through DML ok how to execute DML queries here yeah I'll show you DDL statements also here if you want to execute DDL statements if you want to execute DDL statements here I want to create a simple table create table from here in your database so just I want to create a table so for creating table SQL query DDL SQL query right here create table student and a student table parameters ID with data type number student name with varchar2 and something student email with varchar2 of size 50 yeah this is my required ddl query ok pass this ddl query into which method statement dot execute 
pass your ddl here okay then write a statement system dot out dot println table created successfully run this statement getting sql exception and here it what it is saying here arkil jdbc oracle 00955 error name is already used by an existing object it is which type of exception is it a java exception okay the exception is from java only but the message is from your database it is arkil message arkil saying what already object is exist in your database means already table is there so then what you should do you need to drop the existing table so shall we i mean shall we drop from here itself create a ddl drop statement drop table student so execute first ddl drop then execute ddl create statement okay the first one is ddl drop then next create it will return boolean okay then now run this table created successfully existing table deleted then new table created here so go to command prompt sql command prompt then check table here describe student so one table created with id name email okay in this way you can execute your required ddl statements okay you can create a table you can alter your table you can drop your table you can rename your table all these are which queries ddl queries okay then next if you want to insert data into the table if you want to insert data to insert data which method we need to use from this statement execute update method so to insert data to insert data using sql using execute update method using this execute update method we can insert data here okay so statement dot execute update so here which queries we can write dml data manipulation language you can insert data you can update data you can delete your records okay insert record update record delete records for dml we can use this execute update so here you can insert you can update or you can delete your records using this execute update okay